What's up everybody? Welcome to another honest review video. This is a long-term review video of Black Shark 5 Pro. Yeah, I've been using this smartphone for more than two months now and actually at the beginning I wasn't so happy about this product. I was using another smartphone as my gaming device. This Redmi K50 Gaming Edition, Mercedes-Benz Special Edition and then yeah, after a few updates, this one started to get better and this one has actually stayed on the same place. So slowly this one has started to provide better performance and now at this moment, I mean almost at the end of July 2022, this one offers the best value for money and this is my favorite gaming smartphone. I always try to share the truth with you. I always try to provide you updated information. So if you care about the truth, if you always want to get updated information, updated reviews, please subscribe to this channel and if you find this video helpful after watching through this video if you think this video deserves a like then please take a little while and click on the like button okay let's start our long-term review of black shark 5 pro wait before we start the video can you notice that i have changed my clothes actually i have started my video wearing these t-shirts right but look at this one drop of coffee and it's ruined one moment for the sponsor of this video, Basics Beyond. This is a Basics Beyond t-shirt, crew neck t-shirt and I have been wearing these t-shirts for a few days now and I am super comfortable, super satisfied with these t-shirts. These t-shirts comes with three interesting features. Number one, anti strain. Like sometimes we drink coffee, cola and one drop of coffee or cola may ruin our clothes, like we cannot continue to wear that outside with strain on our clothes, right? But this t-shirt from Basics Beyond, this is water repellent and splash proof. The second interesting feature is shape retention. Like this one has built-in stretch functionality for better shape retention. And finally, this one is easily washable. Well, I have left a link in the description box below. If you are interested, then go ahead. Check the t-shirts from Basics Beyond. At this moment, my favorite t-shirt brand. I have bought this Black Shark 5 Pro along with a few accessories, a magnetic cooler and a Joy Buds Pro TWS earbuds. Inside the box of this magnetic cooler, you will get the cooler. This one has very good build quality. I have three of these coolers that I use with my different phones and accessories. Other than the cooler, there is a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, some protective films. For example, if your phone doesn't support this cooler, then you can first apply the protective film and then put this metal plate at the back of the phone. It's good to see that Black Shark has also provided an extra dual tape. So if anyhow the tape behind the metal plate is damaged, then you can replace it and reuse the metal plate. Inside the box of the Joy Buds, you will get the earbuds, a USB A to C charging cable and two sets of different sized ear tips. I have more than 50 earbuds, but while gaming, I prefer to use these earbuds. This one not only looks nice, it actually performs well with Black Shark 5 Pro. I like the button placement, LED light shape and the design in the front panel. This is so very unique than any other earbuds that I have used. If you are interested, then I will do a dedicated review video of this Black Shark Joy Buds Pro. After opening the top lid of the box, there is another box and inside this box, there is a SIM ejector tool, a TPU silicon protective case. I must say this is a very good quality protective case. You will also get some stickers and warranty papers. That's our Black Shark 5 Pro. Let's put the phone aside and check this massive 120 watt charger. This charger is a bit heavy cause this one is built with premium materials and has almost all the necessary protective features. There is a very good quality USB A to C charging cable, the same one that I have got inside the boxes of Xiaomi 12s series smartphones. So yeah, the quality is top class. At the beginning, I wanted to buy the white colored variant and I was so very unhappy that I didn't get the white colored variant. Anyway, after using this black colored variant for a month, I think this one also looks good. This has its own posh and fashionable vibe. This frosted glass back along with subtle shade and all those design elements gives it a techie or maybe geeky outlook. 
There is a RGB light beside the rear camera block. The rear camera setup has incremental step-by-step -step bump. So it doesn't look like it's heavily protruding, but it's actually protruding a bit. And on a flat surface, this Black Shark 5 Pro obels a bit. Side by side, if we compare this Black Shark 5 Pro with the Red Magic 7, then I would go with this Black Shark 5 Pro cause after using both of these two devices for a few months without any productive cases, Black Shark 5 Pro has managed to stay away from harsh scratches and evaded smudges. However, in terms of outlook, I still prefer that transparent rear panel of Red Magic 7. Black Shark 5 Pro is built with a super premium metal frame which has survived a few harsh drops. On top, there is a speaker grill, secondary noise cancellation microphone and two antenna bands. At the bottom, there is another speaker grill, a USB-C port, primary microphone, a compact SIM tray and an antenna band. There are two mechanical shoulder triggers on right side along with two sliders to enable and disable the shoulder triggers. The power button is also on the right side. This Black Shark 5 Pro comes with a side-mounted fingerprint sensor which is actually mounted on the power button. Volume rockers are moved to an unusually high location on the left side. You will also notice a third microphone on top of the volume rockers. Well. Let's put the metal plate on the rear panel and try to put the magnetic cooler. Let's see how does it perform. Okay, I have found it very unusual and it actually was looking a bit ugly to use the cooler with that metal plate. Also that white colored cooler was looking a bit ugly. So I have bought a proprietary protective case which supports the cooler and a black colored magnetic cooler. Now the phone is more protected. It's easier to use the cooler and altogether offers better performance, looks much more fashionable. I am not that fond of RGB lighting but if you are interested then here it is. There are a lot of options to play with. If you have the time then you can even make your own custom lighting for every scenario. Okay, before we go through the review process, let's quickly check the specifications of Black Shark 5 Pro. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 8 or 12 or 16 GB of RAM, 128 or 256 or 512 GB of storage, UFS 3.1 and NVMe SSD storage. Actually, if you choose 256 GB edition, then you will get 128 GB UFS 3.1 and 128 GB NVMe SSD storage. There are three sensors at the back. The main sensor is a 108 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL HM2. There is a Omnivision 13 megapixel sensor for ultra wide photos and another 5 megapixel Samsung sensor for macro photos. 6.67 inch Samsung E4 AMOLED panel, HDR10+, stereo speakers, 4650 mAh battery, 120 watt fast charging. Yeah, specification wise, this one is a top class smartphone and the base variant costs around 800 US dollars. Black Shark 5 Pro comes with a 6.67 inch Samsung E4 AMOLED panel. It's a flat panel and good for hardcore gaming. This is a FHD Plus panel with 1080 by 2400 pixels, supports HDR10 Plus, 1 billion colors, and up to 144 Hz refresh rate. As usual, there is dark mode, reading mode, and always on display is available. There are a lot of always on display options available, so you can choose the one that you prefer. I'm surprised to see the display panel of Black Shark 5 Pro is comparable to Xiaomi 12s Ultra. It seems there is almost no difference. Black Shark 5 Pro offers a vibrant picture quality, white is very bright, black is truly dark, colors are vivid and vibrant. Here you can check by yourself the same video in 1080p on both the Black Shark 5 Pro and Xiaomi 12s Ultra. Definitely, Xiaomi 12s Ultra's display panel is one of the best display panels and I'm super happy to see that Black Shark 5 Pro's display panel is almost as good as Xiaomi 12s Ultra's display panel. Also, as it supports 144Hz refresh rate, you will have super fine, buttery smooth scrolling and gaming experience. Xiaomi 12s Ultra comes with a set of stereo speakers which is tuned by Harman Kardon but side by side I prefer the stereo speaker sound of Black Shark 5 Pro. It has rich vocal, insanely well bass and magical treble. The truth is sound quality of this Black Shark 5 Pro has actually improved quite a lot after a recent update.
my hands steady. I feel ready, but my legs heavy. I don't get it. How come I haven't hit it already? Still working. I'm still learning. I'm still searching. Finally yearning. Something finally turning. Something called a profit. If I hear you talking, don't get caught in it. I'll be popping off and hit your ass. Dropping now. Yeah, I promise this. I got promises. You ain't stopping this. Cross. You'll be not to conscious. That's the consequence. I got this. I will not quit. Man, I'm on it. On it. This time we are gonna run 3D Mark ahead of Antutu Benchmark. I will run Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. This test is a nightmare for any smartphones. There are 20 loops, it takes about 20 minutes to finish and provides a lot of useful and correct information. As expected, Xiaomi 12s Ultra has scored the best loop score 2770, while the best loop score of Black Shark 5 Pro is 2590. But the thing is, the lowest loop score of Black Shark 5 Pro is 2403. It has performed with consistency. The stability rate is 92.8%. There is no throttling. The performance is beyond my expectations. On the other hand, Xiaomi 12s Ultra, yeah, this one has a poor 53.6% stability rate. I can understand it's a camera-centric smartphone, but I believe Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is much more energy and thermal efficient SoC, so 12S Ultra should have done better. Anyway, kudos to Black Shark for getting an amazing stability rate and performance, because we all know it's very difficult to manage heating issue on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I personally don't like Antutu Benchmark. But I know many of you, I mean the viewers and subscribers are waiting to check the Antutu score. I actually ran Antutu many times in different days, once side by side with Xiaomi 12s Ultra and Xiaomi 12s Pro cause these two smartphones comes with the newest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC. I am surprised, really. Black Shark 5 Pro has done well enough, actually it couldn't do any better. 1,030,000 is well above any other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 based smartphones. Xiaomi 12s Ultra and Pro have only got 1% better score than Black Shark 5 Pro. Well, a few days ago, Antutu got updated to 9.4.2 and Black Shark 5 Pro has still managed to get 1,015,000 even after running Antutu benchmark consecutively three times. One more time, it couldn't be any better. Kudos to Black Shark. They have managed to improvise this smartphone through updates, and now this smartphone performance is at its peak. It's time to evaluate gaming performance. In gaming configuration panel, there are three different performance modes: balanced, solar core, and ludocrus. I personally prefer balanced cause I have never seen any lag or performance issue in balanced mood. Thermal management is also better in balanced mood. We can also select display refresh rate, we can do color adjustment and select graphics enhancement. I prefer high quality graphics settings and I actually strongly recommend this. There are some other settings for touch sensitivity, audio and network which I usually don't change cause this Black Shark 5 Pro is much more optimized in its default state. If I play graphics intensive games for a longer period of time then I use the magnetic cooler. It actually helps a lot to keep the phone cool and squeezes a bit better performance. To make the triggers pop up just simply toggle the sliders beside the triggers. To open up the Shark Space 4.0 game center just long press the triggers. After playing games on this Black Shark 5 Pro for more than a month I can say without any hesitation. Gaming should be done on a gaming device with proper shoulder triggers and motion sensors. There are many other phones out there on the market claims to be a gaming phone but other than Red Magic Pro series phones, there is truly no other phone which can offer similar gaming experience. Black Shark 5 Pro has turned me into a gaming addict. 
After playing Genshin Impact for 30 minutes in ambient room temperature, the average frame rate is 55 frames per second. This is really amazing because this 55 frames per second is so very stable. I have also enjoyed using these shoulder triggers, especially after the recent updates. It's even smoother and response time has become the fastest. Altogether, gaming performance is much more fun and I must mention one more time, this display panel is built and calibrated for gaming. Black Shark 5 Pro comes with a 108 megapixel Samsung Isocell HM2 main sensor and a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor accompanied by a 5 megapixel sensor for macro photography. We can record 4K 60 frames per second videos with Black Shark 5 Pro, but it's really sad that there is no OIS. I wish Black Shark will add OIS in their next flagship, cause without OIS, 4K video recording isn't as smooth as it should be. Black Shark 5 Pro also supports HDR10 Plus video recording. The selfie sensor is a 16 megapixel Omnivision OV16A1Q pure cell sensor. It actually works good enough, nothing to complain about. Let's check some photos taken with this Black Shark 5 Pro. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never change but Black Shark 5 Pro got a 4650mAh battery and comes with a super fast 120W charger inside the box. It actually performs better than many other 120W chargers. It only takes around 18 minutes to get fully charged. I mean from 0 to 100%. I have managed to squeeze up to 7 hours of screen on time. However, as I always say, screen on time depends on your usage pattern and settings. For example, at 144Hz, the battery drains faster. If you use ludicrous mode and play games for longer period of time, then the battery will get drained way faster than usual. But altogether, screen on time of this Black Shark 5 Pro is way better than any other gaming smartphones in its segment. Black Shark 5 Pro comes with Joy UI 13 on top of Android 12. Joy UI 13 is optimized based on MI UI 13. As I have mentioned earlier, the fingerprint sensor is side mounted. This old school fingerprint sensor is one of the fastest side mounted sensors. I wish Black Shark will use an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor in their next flagship. There is a face unlock option and it works well, but face unlock on most of the Android devices aren't as secure as iPhone. Okay, after watching through this video, what do you think? I prefer this Black Shark 5 Pro and if you are clever enough, then you will also find that Black Shark 5 Pro at this moment offers the best value for money. I mean, this one is at its peak performance. After all the updates, after all the tuning, all the improvisation, Black Shark 5 Pro has finally became the best gaming smartphone. Period. That's the end of the video. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm